So this is the second video in a series of videos about uh, Roblox Studio. And this video is going to focus just on a very simple procedure. It is adding and subtracting from your workspace. So uh, we left off in, from the last episode. We left off with a base plate template, which we had selected from a list of templates at the very beginning um, when we first opened up Roblox Studio. Now we're going to figure out how to actually get rid of this base plate so we can put our own objects in, in place. So to get rid of the base plate, um, or any other object for that matter, we can uh, either select this object or and right click and delete it, or we can actually look over here in the Explorer window, um, which is located typically on the far right uh, I think that's the default for Roblox Studio, but if you can't find it, um, it may not even be in view. You can go up to the View tab up near the top, and you can make sure that it is selected here. Likewise with Properties, those are really your two uh, really commonly used uh, windows when it, comes to, when it comes to Roblox Studio development. So if you uh, expand, and you can expand by just clicking on the sideways triangle. Um, and if you expand the workspace here, you'll see that there's a few different selections, one of which is base plate. If I select base plate, which is just happens to be the name of the base plate, I can right click on that, and there will be a, an option to delete up near the top with the commonly used options. So cut, copy, paste, um, if you had something copied, paste into would be there. Uh, duplicate, delete, rename, all of those things are kind of, you know, if you've used word processing or any other kind of app like that, you have probably seen those functions. So delete is the one we want, and if we select it, you'll see that the base plate goes away, which is pretty cool, except now there's nothing. So if I start the game, my player will actually um, fall into nothingness and die right out of the right out of the gate. So we don't want that. So what we'll do is we'll go to this home tab on the top, and we're actually going to add uh, add a part to the um, to the to the workspace here. Uh, we could also do this through model, um, and it's done with using this part selection tool here, um, and you'll see it's in both the home as well as the model view here, um, the model tab, I should say. So one thing to note is that when you do add an object to your workspace, it will add it to the center of whatever your view is. So in my case, it's kind of hard to see um, whether there's much of a view here because I can't, there's nothing there. But if there was, um, it would drop it right in the same, in the center of whatever was in my, in the center of my view here. So let's add a part. And if I click the arrow key again, or the triangle again, you can see the triangle actually means, you know, there's more there. So um, typically if you just want to add a part, it'll default to whatever part was selected last. Um, but in our case, I want to show you that there are several or a few different options. There's four to be exact. Um, we're going to just choose one. I'm going to choose a block, and you can see when I choose it that it shows up in the screen down below. It also gets added to my workspace in the Explorer. So there's the part right there. If I select it, um, I can change its name if I'd like. So I can call it my part, and there it is. And if I select it, it selects it in the screen here. So if we zoom in a little bit, but not too much, we can see that. Uh, another way to do that, uh, another way to zoom in is to hit the F key, F as in Frank key. And if I hit the F key, it actually brings it right into the center of my screen, which makes it a lot easier to see and a lot easier to manipulate. So there it is, there's my part, I've added it. I can delete it just by right clicking and selecting the delete option here on the part. I can also delete it by selecting it in my workspace, um, and I can also do the same thing. I can select delete, and there it goes. It goes away from the workspace as well as the list in the Explorer. And that's it. That's all we have. 